I never forgot it. It was like a nightmare. You've worked with like so many legendary filmmakers over the years, but never with Pedro Almodovar. Mm -hmm. What was it like being directed by him on this movie? It was marvelous. It was a real thrill. I mean, I think probably like like every actress in the world. And when I when I first saw his his movies and I first saw his worldview, I was absolutely mm -hmm. entranced. He's just such a such a wonderful artist and certainly somebody who really tells stories about women beautifully, mm -hmm. with beautiful, wonderful actresses. So. I never, ever imagined that I'd be able to work with him because he works, you know, in Spain, in Spanish. And then there would be these kind of, these rumors every once in a while that he was going to make a movie in English. It was finally going to happen. And all of us English-speaking actresses would be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe. Um, but then he would always be like, no, I'm not going to do it. No, no, no. So when I got this email out of the blue from him for this film, I was astonished, mm. really, really, truly astonished. And it was a, a, a great honor to be able to work with him and to become, you know, to be in part of his canon. Uh, the movie film was based on a book called What Are You Going Through? Were mm -hmm. you aware of the book when mm -hmm. you read the script? I was, I was. I hadn't, um, I actually had read um, The Friend, Sigrid's other book, and I also read Siempre Susan, oh, wow. but I hadn't read What Are You Going Through? And so I read the book and, and I met with Sigrid as well. Mm -hmm. So the book is, you know, Pedro, I think, um, read the book, and the book has lots and lots of different story strands in it, but there was this one particular part that, that, that Pedro was interested in, and he kind of took it and expanded upon it. So um, it's interesting because there's some of Sigrid's tone in there, but it really is very, very much Pedro. I can absolutely tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ingrid, your character, has to keep so many secrets, big and small, from so many different people yeah. in the movie. Would you as Julianne, trust yourself to keep those kind of secrets. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm actually really, really good at keeping secrets. I'm, I'm very trustworthy. And if I think if someone tells me that there's something that is completely between us, then I, I honor that. Uh, the spectacle of the film is more in the script than in like any action. And that means a lot of it rests on your performance. Mm -hmm. Is that a challenge that you kind of relish or is it always intimidating to receive a script like that? Any time you're entrusted with a terrific script, with, with great storytelling, it, it feels um, it feels exciting. And, and also you, there's always a level of anxiety. We always, I think all of us who care about our work feel that we have a responsibility to do it well, you know, mm -hmm. and that we want to do it well. And in this case, I certainly didn't want to disappoint Pedro and I was thrilled to be with Tilda. And, and so I was excited by it. But yeah, it's like, you know, yes, it feels like you want to, you always want to bring your best. I feel like one of the joys of every um, one of our movie are the outfits, you know, like uh -huh. he's such a great person to work with color and yeah. people wear. Was there a particular outfit that you became attached to? <laughs> I love them all. I really, really love them all. They were all so beautiful. And I think, you know, he has, Pedro has such an elevated fashion sense and enjoys it so much. And it's part of, what, what I love about it too is that his aesthetic is a part of his enjoyment of life, mm -hmm. of beauty, of, of, of clothes, of what we wear, of how we signify what we love and who we are. And that we, and also that we love to look at each other. You know, Tilda and I talked about this too, that sometimes you can you can see a movie and walk away and all you think is like, wow, I loved her sweater. And that's enough. You know, sometimes that's enough. Or you're like, I want to do my lipstick that way. I'm going to go get that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's it's a way of, of conversing with each other. And finally, because we are a cinema brand, what was the first film you remember seeing in the cinema? You know what it was? And I, I was a kid and, and my parents didn't have a babysitter and it was a James Bond movie and I don't know what it was, but it's one where he has, he's in love with this woman and she's lying there and the poison is meant for him and it drips from the ceiling and it drips into her mouth. I never forgot it, it was like a nightmare.